All right, guys, so this is the DD15 I've been working on. Customer states he's got a bit of a noise, kind of thinks it's up here on the valve train. Okay, so I did a compression test on it. I'm gonna show you that in the video. And everything actually checked out pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top off and we're gonna see what's going on underneath. So we did that. And this is what we found, at least for now. So I'm gonna go back and verify everything. I don't know why this would be loose. And I'll be honest with you, check it out. This was already sticking out like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually check everything. I'm gonna check all seven of these on the intake. I'm gonna check all seven on the exhaust. Hopefully the, uh, the housing or the threading isn't stripped. I have no idea why this would be loose like that. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of confused and puzzled by that. So I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna check the valve adjustment on everything just to kind of go over it and see what's going on. Again, customer says it sounds like a manifold or kind of an escape of, like when you have an exhaust leak or a manifold leak like on a car. So you kind of hear this tapping or this hissing sound. Uh, we thought it was this because this was leaking, but that still did not solve the problem. So hopefully we can find the issue here. Again, we're going to loosen everything up. I'm going to torque everything back down all over again. I showed you guys how to do that in the past videos, uh, but sometimes you got to, you know, get, get dirty and figure out what the hell's going on. Wow, look at this. If you can see the difference, this is sticking up a bit more. Look at, holy fuck, this is actually loose. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Look at that, wiggle, wiggle. Fuck, that's not good at all, guys. I don't know what the hell's going on. This entire rocker arm is actually kind of lifting up. So we're gonna put it to time. We're gonna loosen everything up, torque it all down. I'm hoping that will resolve our issue. Um, I'll let you guys know. So I'm gonna keep recording once I kind of uh, get my get my tools out and go from there. So let's see what we find. Okay, guys, so we're gonna do a quick compression test. I'm gonna run the test, click on that, click on yes, make sure you're neutral. And we are going to crank the engine until the computer tells us to, or until the computer says stop. Make sure there's nobody there. Oh, watch out on that. Coast is clear. Just keep cranking, guys. The computer will tell you when to stop. Alrighty, so we have the results from our test and we have decent compression. So the issue that we have that the customer's talking about is probably not gonna be on the valve train, it's gonna be somewhere else. But anyway, so. Okay guys, so we went ahead and loosened up all seven on the intake, all seven on the exhaust side, torqued everything all down. Actually, we're not quite done torquing things down because we're doing it at 36 pounds and then we're gonna do plus the 90 degree torque turn which is what the book says. However, the only problem we have is this one here. I can barely get it to torque to 36, but it still keeps kind of, it still keeps spinning. So the thread is probably stripped inside where the cam cap is. The only option there, we could try using something like this, a little bit of thread locker to hopefully get it into place and it won't back off on its own. But the right thing to do is actually pull this whole thing apart. They can install a Healy coil on the bridge. At this point, we should probably get them all done on all of them, solve the problem. But it really depends on what the customer wants to do and what their budget is. So right now, what we're gonna do is try and do, try and salvage the thread on it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then at that point, we're gonna have to take this whole thing apart and get everything um, essentially repaired, all the threads repaired. Healy coil, get that all done at a machine shop. And uh, it's actually not too expensive as far as what they charge. Uh, as far as labor, you guys already know, something like this, typically you're looking at about 10 to 12 hours, maybe less than that, again, depending on your skills and how fast you can do it and your experience. So other than that, I'm gonna see what I can do to salvage that and we can adjust the valves and go from there. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna torque everything down that extra 90 degree um, and go from there. I'll keep you guys posted. let's see what okay, happens. Okay guys, so what ended up happening on the DD15 that I showed you, the exhaust rocker arm okay this is where your exhaust rocker will sit in your intake you're going to have the bolts which secure it so in this case you're going to have the bolt that's going to go through and secure to the threads down there now what happens it's kind of rare but it does happen the threads will strip or the strip the the threads will pull depending on what's happening and in this truck these are they're, they're not completely damaged but it's not enough to give me the torque i need 
plus the 90 degree torque turn. So what I'm gonna do, now it's not the right thing to do, but what I'm going to do is actually just apply some Loctite to the thread, torque it as close to it as possible, and pretty much send it on its way. Now, some of you guys are thinking, dude, that's not right. It's gonna, you know, something's gonna happen. Now, of course, something can happen, but I can only do what the customer's willing to pay for or what the customer can pay for. So if you can see, there's the coil and the Healy coil. So what we've done in the past is we'll send this out, machine shop will fix it. They'll install some Healy coils down there. And then that will definitely secure it and ensure that it will not happen again in the future. So that's what you should do is send them all out especially if you're working on the rocker housing. Um, the new ones I think are set up differently, but again, if this is an older one or an older style, it can happen. So again, you can see the Healy coil in there. So let's go fire up the truck. Let's see what's happening and let's see what, let's see what, uh, let's see what happens. All right guys, so we have everything put together. We added back our coolant. We put everything together on top. We did do a valve adjustment because the truck is at just a hair over 500,000 miles and for being a 2011, 2012, not bad at all. So let's go ahead and fire it up. I'm not gonna give it any gas or anything like that, but I'm gonna fire it up and see what it sounds like. So give me a sec. All right, let me just make sure everything is clear and there's nothing in the way. Okay guys, coast is clear. There's nothing in the way and there's nobody working on the truck or touching the truck. We got that. Let's see, we still have that light that we talked about, which is for the depth pressure low. Uh, here, let's get this out of the way. We don't need that right now. Okay, now I know oil pressure is gonna be good, but that's just something to always look at. Sorry about that. Hi, Ma. Oh yeah, sounds a lot better. Lot better oil pressure like i said is good just a hair under 75. i'm gonna go outside just to verify that i don't have any extra chatter or any noise oh yeah oh yeah sounds much better than before okay so i'm gonna say right, so we are all done with this particular repair i think we caught it just in time so that there wasn't any damage to the valve train to the rocker housing or anything like that, which is good. It's a good thing. Now, hopefully when everything gets a little bit better, because right now things are very slow for the guys at the port and it's very slow for the guys at the rail. Ah, damn, I look like shit. <laughs> anyway, guys, so I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, hopefully everything holds tight. And again, once the customer get on his feet, get it fixed right away and get everything just running as it should. So if the video helps you guys out, I'm glad it does. All I ask again is one thing, thumbs up. Guys, have a great day. Appreciate it.